Hey everyone, GillaColdCallSports.com. You asked me to look at this, so I'm going to look at it. Philadelphia, Atlanta, tie game, top of the ninth, runner on third. Could be the go-ahead run. Let's see oh, what happens. Zuna's got it. Bone's going to try it. Here he comes, and he's safe. Ah, controversial safe calls at home plate, late game situation in Atlanta. Where have I seen this before? The throw, and they got him. No, he called him safe. Jerry Meals called him safe. The throw beat him by a mile. Okay, the Jerry Meals play didn't have replay, but back in the present day, we now have replay. So let's get this call right. If we go to the replay angle, the question becomes succinctly, did the runner's left foot touch home plate? I can diagram the play and say, did the umpire have the keyhole angle he saw? Did he see it? Did he not? You know, he actually starts third base line extended, and then Barrett goes toward his left, toward point of plate, because he reads the play as the action area occurring closer to the point, and he actually has a great look. This play is going to open up for him, because again, we're looking for that left foot. That's the key action area, and as we continue advancing this, we see that the runner's left foot is going to open up right to the umpire. So the umpire has a great look, but we don't, because the umpire's pant leg blocks us out from seeing what happened. So we need to open up another angle. Ah, this will tell us exactly what happened. It looks like the runner's foot is going over top of home plate, but oh wait, and then a speck of dirt gets kicked up. So I split screen it and try to piece it together, but no, the umpire's leg is blocking it out. And things become really difficult. Well, what does the rule actually say? Ah, clear and convincing evidence. That's the standard. So if I try split screen this the top left the umpire's pants in the way the bottom left the camera angle is too high i can't tell depth and the right side there's a speck of dirt that's getting kicked up that makes it difficult to see the problem here and again clear and convincing call overturned call upheld stands confirmed it's so confusing the framework is clear and convincing which basically means i need to prove a negative I need to prove that the runner in this case did not do something, and proving a negative is awfully difficult. Wow, how does that happen? If this was a situation where I would just have two options, safer out using replay, those are your only options, can't go with call stance, I'd call the runner out because it sure didn't look like the runner touched home plate, it sure looked like the foot missed home plate. But because of the clear and convincing evidence standard that MLB has decided to put into its rules, this is going to be a call stands. And the umpires say, yeah, we saw the replay too. Snicker's going to go. He's upset. It makes sense. The umpires are going to give him a lot of rope. They're going to keep him in the game because they know exactly what happened. They understand. They saw the replay too. And they know that if the replay on its own was used, the runner would be out. But because MLB has this rule, the runner has to be ruled safe. Call stands. Until they change the rule, at least. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. If you have any questions or plays like this, send it in, and we will see you on the site.